Yeah, the closer you stand to us, the closer you get to your heritage. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. This is the heritage that you're running from. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. So the same way we went into ancient Egypt is the same way that we came in here to spiritual Egypt. All right? And the reason that we got here in spiritual Egypt is because of interracial marriage. All right? Because the so-called black man wanted to have sex and marry the daughter of his slave master, just like my brother right here. You got to repent from that. This your wife right here? Who is this to you? This your friend? That's your mom? He just said mom. That's your son right here? He said no. No? No? Okay. Is this your husband right here? This not your man right here? All right, well, you can't even be friends with us, what the scriptures say. You got to repent from that, bro. Nah, bro, give me Deuteronomy 7. Hold up, hold up. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7. Hold up, hold up, because you're speaking, you're speaking. You ran away from me, man. You ran away from me. What's good? You telling us that you can't be friends with nobody else? Nah, I'm telling you that the people that put you in chains, they're not your friends, they're your enemies. And their daughter is your enemy. And their son is your enemy. And their grandson and their great son is your enemy. There's no such thing as being mixed. You, you got nut in your balls, don't you? You know what that is? That's a seed. So whatever you plant your seed inside of is what's going to grow out of that ground. There's no such thing as mixed. That's a concept taught to you by this man right here. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it.
says that our people are going to be saved by the foolishness of preaching. By the foolishness of preaching. So you can perceive it to be foolish. You can perceive it. Huh? That, that's how Christ sent us up. No, I'm, do, I'm doing this part right here. I'm teaching. He's reading. That's how Christ sent us up. He's not looking stupid. Somebody give me the foolishness of preachers in, in Romans. Give me that. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. This is what we're doing. This is the book of Isaiah. Uh -huh. Chapter 58 and verse 1. Bro, you don't realize that you a clown. Because you following the ways of your oppressor. You out here you out here walking around with the daughter of your slave master. There's nobody that looks more like a clown than you. Keep reading. Cry out. Uh -huh. Spare not. The Bible says cry out loud. So that's what we're doing. Read. Lift up thy voice. Oh, like a trumpet. I'm on a business too. Keep reading. And show my nah, people. Nah, me and him look the same. We both got fringes on. We both got a beard on our face. We look like thus saith the Lord. You look like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You look like a clown with that white girl right there. Keep reading. And show my people. It's our job to show you your transgression. And out here, you dealing with your slave master's daughter? That's You look like a clown. Keep reading. And the house of Jacob. Their sin. I'm going to show you your sins. Nah, Jesus Christ was a racist. The, the Most High God is a racist. Let me show you how the Most High God get down. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I'm going to show you what the Most High God say. Huh? Oh, you got that book? Bring this up. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. The brother said we out here looking like clowns because we yelling and screaming the Bible. Read. For after that, in the wisdom of God. We speak in the wisdom of God. Read. The world by wisdom uh -huh. do not God. You don't know God because you ain't got the wisdom of God. Right. If you had the wisdom of God, you wouldn't be walking with your, your slave master's daughter right now. Right. And this power uh -huh. of foolishness of preaching. God is right. pleased by you telling us that we look like clowns. Right. The Bible says it please God by the foolishness of preaching. Read. Right. To save them. We only out here to save those that believe. Those that believe. If you believe in the Bible, that's who we out here for. If you don't believe in the Bible, we ain't out here for you. Obviously, you don't believe in Deuteronomy chapter 7. Give me verse 1. Keep reading. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 1. And, and if you're telling us we look like a clown, man, that's a compliment according to the Most High God. Read. When the Lord, thy God shall bring thee into the land whether thou goest to possess it. Uh -huh. We ain't even coming to this land to possess it. The northern kingdom came into the land to possess it. We got brought here as slaves. The conquistadors came over here, took the land from them, gave them a different heritage, gave them a different language, gave them a different uh, religion, and then brought us over here as slaves. Keep reading. And had cast out many nations uh -huh. before thee. Read. The Hittites, the Gugasites, uh -huh. and the Amorites. The Most High God casted out many nations before we went into the land of Canaan. Keep reading. And the Canaanites, uh -huh. and the Perizzites, Read. and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, Read. seven nations greater and mightier than you. Many nations that were greater and mightier than us, the Most High God cast them out. Read. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, uh -huh. thou shalt smite them. What were we supposed to do? Smite them. So God told us we were supposed to smite the other nations. Keep reading. And utterly destroy them. What were we supposed to do? Smite them and utterly destroy the other nations. That's how the Most High God always got down. Read. Thou shalt make no covenant with them. We shall what? Make no covenant with them. Hey, Leon, don't leave, man. I still wanted to deal with Egypt for you real quick. I want to show you where Egypt got their wisdom from. Read. Nor show mercy unto them. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. You see that, Leon? The scripture says we're not even supposed to make marriages with the other women. But we, we fell away from our heritage so bad, so bad that we think we mix. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.